Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. My name is Abhi and this is part 20 of WPF tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to see that how we can change the icon of a window in WPF. Also, we will look at the different properties like height, width and title of a window in WPF. We will set the values of these different properties. If you will notice here on this screen, there are different arrows which are pointing to the different properties of a window. This is the icon of a WPF window. This is the title of a window in WPF. And of course, these are the height and width of a window. So let's flip to Visual Studio and look at this in action. First of all, I'm going to create a window. And I will name it sample window before doing anything I'm going to set the startup URI here so this would point to my window sample window now let's run this first this is the icon of a window in WPF this comes with by default so till you will not specify any other icon this icon is going to be visible and this is the title of a window and you can see this is the height and this is the width of a window so let's go ahead and set all these properties using XML and then we will look that how we can set all these properties using C sharp so I'm going to set the height to 800 and the width to 1000. Also, I will change the title of this window. Hello, this is sample window. So this is going to change the title of this window you can see here. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy these two images inside my application and now I will set the icon of this window if you will notice here this is the icon which comes by default so I'm going to change that so to change that simply set the icon of a window and it comes from this icons folder so let's set the path of it icons and I'm going to set this Microsoft.ico Microsoft.ico so that's it let's go ahead and run that you can see this window icon has changed to the icon which we have specified here now let's go ahead and do the same thing by using C sharp. So I'm going to get rid of this code and let's go to the core window. What I'm going to do, I will create a function here. So void set properties and let's close that. To set the title of this window, I can simply say this dot title and set the title. This is my sample window and let's set the height of this window, this dot height. Notice here the height data type is double, so if you want to specify any decimal point number you can simply specify that and this will accept that so let's set this to 800 and width to 1000 now I'm going to set the icon of this window so to do that what I will have to do this dot icon is equals to notice here this 
icon is expecting the image source so before that we will have to create the object of image source so how do we do that first of all we need to create the uri object which will specify the location of the icon so let's go ahead and create the object of uri uri icon is equals to new uri and here we will provide the path of this icon so what is the path of this icon that is inside the application so let's set this to pack and application and where is the icon exist that is inside the icons folder and what is the name of the icon that is microsoft.ico okay and now here I am going to set the URI kind so URI kind is relative or absolute so this is going to define this image okay now the next thing which we have to do we will have to assign this icon to this icon property of this window so to assign that I am going to call the create function of bitmap frame class so let's call it bit map frame dot create and look at this what this is expecting this is expecting the bitmap URI so which we have just created I'm going to pass this inside this so let's go ahead and call this function inside the constructor of this class set properties and now let's go ahead and run this now let's go ahead and run this code you can see the output as expected okay so in this way you can set the icon of a window in WPF also you have seen the different ways to set the title height and width of a window in WPF so that's it from this video tutorial. Please subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.